Hi, it's Isabel and today is Cozy Reading Night Day. For those of you who don't know, Cozy Reading Night is kind of a tiny readathon that is organised by Lauren from Lauren and the Books. And I think she does these every few months, I think. Um, and basically a Cozy Reading Night is very simple. It's just three hours in the evening where you are supposed to just relax, have some snacks and, of course, read. And I've always wanted to take part in one of these because they just sound so relaxed and um, I've unfortunately never had the time to do it until now. But today I do have time, so I'm very excited to do my first cozy reading night. As I said, um, cozy reading night runs over just the course of three hours. I think Lauren usually does them from 7 until 10 GMT, so that would be 8 to 11 p.m. for me and I think that's the time frame that I want to do it in because I think that's when I have time and I haven't quite decided yet what I want to read for the cozy reading night. I have pulled a few um, short books from my TBR shelf because as the reading night is um, three hours, I thought it would be fun to kind of read something different for each hour. And yeah, these are just like the shortest books that I have that I might be able to get through, at least uh, some of them, I hope. So I will probably t just switch back and forth between some of these tonight. But as you can probably tell from the still rather generous amount of daylight that I still have, it is not 8pm yet, it's still early afternoon, but I wanted to start the vlog already anyway because I still have a few things that I want to kind of prepare for cozy reading night and I thought I would just take you along with me while doing them. So the two main things that I want to do before cozy reading night starts is I want to make some snacks. I think I will um, bake some scones so that I can eat them during cozy reading night. And I also want to prepare my little reading corner to make it as cosy and comfortable as it can be so that I'm ready to spend three hours reading tonight. So let's get to preparing the cosy reading night. <laughs> ready. As you've just seen, I have baked the scone, I've also um, prepared my reading nook and I've also changed into an even more comfortable sweater. I also put on some sweatpants, I even have the fluffy socks for ultimate coziness. So yeah, I'm ready. But I will actually not start reading at 8 sharp because at 8 the Christmas sketch that some of my very talented friends have put together will go live. And I, of course, don't want to miss that. So I will actually start out Cozy Reading Night watching their Christmas sketch. And I'm sure that's going to put me in a very festive, Christmassy spirit. After that, I think I'm going to start out with some poetry. So I will probably read some of Sylvia Plath's poems that are in her collection, Ariel, which is 
one of the books that I had put on my winter reads TBR. I haven't yet decided what I want to read after that, so I will just have to see what I'm in the mood for afterwards. But now it's time to go and watch the play. <laughs> read some poems but I am getting a bit tired and I don't think that I'm uh, understanding the poems very well anymore so I think I should, should switch to something else. What I thought I might switch to is... wait let me quickly grab them. I have oops, two options. So I think I should either continue reading Lord of the Flies because I have picked this as my next read in my last video and I have started it. I am on page um, around 80 and so far it's really interesting. I'm not sure if I'm enjoying it because it is kind of gruesome but it is interesting so I am interested in continuing this but I also feel like I might be in the mood to read the Victorian Chaiselon instead because it's also a very short one so I feel like I could maybe even finish it today and I am just very curious about this one because I know that it's um, from the 20th century but it's also about time travel and I do kind of like classics about time travel so I'm curious to see what this one does with it. Yeah, kind of undecided whether I want to go for Lord of the Flies or the Victorian Chaiselon. I mean, it is only nine o'clock, so I still have two hours to go. So I think for now I will start with the Victorian Chaiselon. And then in probably an hour I will see if I want to continue with this one or maybe switch to um, Lord of the Flies instead. But before I continue reading, I think it is time to make some tea and eat some scones and maybe light my candle that I have got ready over there. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. and I am really enjoying it. It's really interesting and fascinating and it's just really good. Um, as you can see my brain doesn't really formulate thoughts properly anymore but I am enjoying it and I want to keep reading so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> more to go um, but I am quite tired now so I think I will end the vlog here anyway and go to bed. It was really nice though to take these three hours to just read and relax and get cozy and I think I should really do this more often even if it isn't officially a cozy reading night. I hope this video was as relaxing to watch as it was to film and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Bye.